This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Oh, cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, Mary Hart. How are you doing, my favorite sniffler? Mm. You're like stiffler, but I, yeah. not sleeping with moms, just having a cold. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, I'm as great as uh, fucking cougars as having a cold, a stiffler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how it computes. Um, I'm fine. Tis the season for everyone to be sick well you know the temperature dropped below 90 degrees Ugh. in la and all of a sudden we're rocking lenny kravitz scarfs yep my body said no way not Mm-mm. today not today say how are you i'm doing well um <laughs> <laughs> not like we spent our entire thanksgiving together no, i mean <laughs> which we'll get into I- i'm doing good i'm doing the bounce back oh. Between Thanksgiving and Christmas is just a lot because it's like you finish Thanksgiving and you're like, oh, man, uh, you know, I'm going to make a change Mm -hmm. in my life. It's time to get my shit together. And then you go, but what's the point? Yeah. It's going to be Christmas. Well, that's where uh, I knew that you were rebounding from a holiday because uh hannah and i got the group text from you that said anyone interested in sober january (laughs) okay look (laughs) and i was like oh she's feeling the perks of the bender (laughs) uh well okay i thought about you know how i occasionally take like three weeks off yeah yeah, i haven't done like the full month in uh I don't even know. Like the most I've done is 20 days. For sure. And that's like the best kind of way to do it when it's all about fresh starts anyway. However, it's easier to do when Chip is on the road Mm -hmm. because then I can just, you know, when he's here, I want to have fun and like go to dinner and share. We, you know, we love wine and things like that. It's like a process to, you know, like go to the wine store, pick out a new bottle, see if we like the new, you know, it's it's like a big, a little experience. You know, guys, I don't mean to brag about my success, but I have an, uh, an eight wine bottle wine chiller (laughs) wow yeah you can buy for like 150 bucks um (laughs) but it's easier to do on the road and then i just found out when he goes back to work in january his first like month is in la like they're doing bars they're redoing bars in la so he'll be here so now it's like become it'll be even tougher yeah but i feel like i should do it I mean, I will support you. I wrote back and said, I can do sober weekdays. Well, that might be what it ends up being. <laughs> right. So that I can have date nights. Yeah, that and I, I feel like you have to set yourself up for success. Like yeah. really actually give yourself like working for the weekend. But I also know myself, I've done that before. And mm-hmm. then I go, Thursday's a fucking weekend. Right. Like it I slowly can, creeps back to I the B7 days. I can substitute a Saturday for a Wednesday this mm-hmm. week. And then you're just like, what am I doing? Yeah. But But, so I haven't drank in a couple days. Good for you. Mini detox. Good job. This is just the podcast where I (laughs) brag about not drinking for 48 hours. I'm like, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I've been, I've been drinking. I've I've been been drinking. drinking. (laughs) (laughs) But Thanksgiving was so fun. It was so fun. It was really, really cool. And it was also a little like eerie because Mm -hmm. it was raining in Palm Springs the whole time. Y'all, it never, I've never seen a drop no in palm springs it's a desert no like one drop and then immediately evaporates yeah but so it poured from morning till night Mm -hmm. on thanksgiving day of course the day you have like 12 people in our house right that it's all stuck inside we're all just sort of standing around the living room watching you and beth make everything (laughs) you know well that's why that's how we like it but that's why my social anxiety kicked in for a quick second only because elliot and I, I mean i had a wonderful time with everyone that was there it was all really great yeah. people it was a but good mix just knowing that one we're st- stuck to the house mm-hmm. and two that there's like 12 people that were just going to be in each other's company all day that's why, like as soon as i woke up i was like i'm gonna go to the grocery store what does anyone need Anything? yeah you were you were kind of elusive we were playing lots of games and i was like i, I don't know where grace is i i got elliot out of the shower i was like you ready to go he's like wow out of the frying pan into the fryer we're leaving right now i was like i've never heard that phrase (laughs) i have no real idea what it means but it sounds southern (laughs) it sounds like it sounds like you're making someone have to uh like double fried i guess i I don't know what it means but it sounds delicious yeah he said it out loud and i was like whatever you said just get in the car uh, but then we went and got a couple things and then we went and had a quick drink by ourselves at the mm-hmm. Segoro Hotel around the corner. Which I've never been to, guys. Sorry, we're telling like some real inside, inside. baseball Palm Springs, but it's a hotel nearish our house. It's that's, very Instagrammable. It like it, it's painted like a rainbow. Yeah. If you follow any makeup or beauty guru on Instagram, you've seen this hotel. At you've one, seen the lime the green doors. Yeah. You've seen the lavender doors. You've seen the orange ones. Um, yeah, it's very like, but it's clearly 
like a Holiday Inn that they just repainted a bunch of bright oh, colors. Oh, everyone. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> it is the complete. Sorry to talk shit. We're never going to brand deal with them. No, but it's I, one of I those, mean, I went there on Thanksgiving morning and had a beautiful mezcal drink. <laughs> oh, I love that you're getting into mezcal Yeah, now. they have a great this mezcal. This really excites me. They have great mezcal cocktails mm. for the future. But we were there. It was basically empty. There were like three people in the bar. And I was like, I just want to have a private moment. Mm-hmm. And then I'll be so ready to be social with everyone. Like charge my battery right now. And the this group of three like British uh like a british married couple that's probably in their 60s and like their friend that was in from london comes in hot to the bar what time are we talking we're talking like (laughs) um around Mm -hmm. noon between noon and one yeah and they come in hot and this woman is she looks like every like british school teacher like she looks like our moms with a british accent throwing down and they just come in and regardless of us like acknowledging them they just start telling us about their journey from los angeles to palm springs oh and showing us videos of the rain that they drove through and the snow and how their friend was in from london and then they wanted to know everything about the drinks that we had just ordered and like what the flavors were it's like i just left the house so that we could so have you could not have to talk to anyone <laughs> and you guys are being real sweet but you are showing us within 30 seconds videos of car footage of them driving down i was like did she tell I, you how much debt her daughter has to capital one i mean i really gave her a little bit of a cold shoulder so <laughs> i would have gotten there i feel like uh yeah so we it was very sweet but they came in just like covered in water and we're just like you won't believe the kind of drive we had you're and I was like, like oh. i guess i have to believe it because you're telling me all about it you won't believe that i'm not your friend yeah, <laughs> that i live around the corner and i have social anxiety so i'm trying to curb it right here oh my god well but i had a great time it was wonderful i uh did not feel any anxiety except to get the food done oh yeah um, you guys killed it thank you uh another successful one on the books mm-hmm. to update people because people have been this mashed potato system. okay but people have been all up in my fucking dms yeah. and tweet replies yeah and instagram comments this is asking be- become a political story it truly <laughs> is divisive yeah. i mean i thought in the era of trump <laughs> politics i didn't know scallop potatoes would be the thing that really polarizes get people. people people were so mad they were like i don't see any scallop potatoes on that table because <laughs> as you know chip and i had disagreements on he seceded yeah he wanted mashed potatoes potatoes and scalloped potatoes and i said that's ridiculous <laughs> um no it's because he had an unsuccessful trial run earlier and he mm. was like you know what i'm good i gotta focus on smoking that turkey i mean to be fair it's very wonderful when someone's self-aware like that they know that they shouldn't risk it you know maybe yeah. the first time isn't a fluke maybe that's actually how good he's gonna be and also he just it. made him on sunday and also okay, well, we got back yeah there you go. <laughs> well, potatoes also, are year long the turkey was phenomenal i think i mean smoking it is was what's really up. great i've never had a smoked turkey before and i loved it we partied so hard the night before thanksgiving yeah yeah like and guys full on i know this is a a lot of energy spent but we cranked the pool so it was basically a hot tub yeah and it was cold outside and slightly drizzling so that all this steam was coming off the pool to where there were 10 of us in there and it felt like we were in the fucking blue lagoon in iceland yeah it was like oddly romantic like i kept (laughs) wanting to bend down and smear white clay on my face (laughs) but we were just in a pool (laughs) oh god that was one of the most fun days ever when me you and hannah were in the blue oh lagoon. god that was i remember turning around just seeing hannah with white cream all over her face and i was like you look like you're melting i don't know what's happening i loved it but um <laughs> we partied the night before mm-hmm. finally go to bed and then chip and i woke up at 5 a.m to prep and put the turkey in that's insane yeah. i uh, love you guys because <laughs> i don't even eat meat <laughs> I know you really went above and beyond. Oh, oh, hold on! I forgot about this whole sidebar. Uh oh. The day before, uh-huh. the people need to know. Yeah. The day before, I went to a Whole Foods where I had reserved a turkey, reserved oh. um, some gravy. <laughs> Look, I, I cook everything, but I had to get a couple things. Waited an hour, got it. I didn't realize the and complications that there to are get to get food. Yeah. And then I went to the honey baked ham store <laughs> of Cathedral City yeah. in Palm Springs had reserved a ham two weeks earlier i get there there's a two hour wait it's to I, pick up your ham 
I had no idea that that world existed at all. I didn't either. <laughs> I haven't eaten ham in uh, decades. So I was like, oh, I'll come back later when it's about to close. Call mm-hmm. them like five times. I'm like, honey baked ham hates me. <laughs> um, and then come back when it's closing and it's still a two hour wait i know you would because we went to the grocery store and i texted you like what else do you need you're like i'm bringing a chair and <laughs> to go <laughs> An sit in line. To drag race <laughs> yeah to go sit in this line and we got back to the house and it was chip and his friend was there and uh, i hadn't met him before so i was just yeah. like nice to meet you did you meet memory he's like yeah she seemed stressed out that she had to go back for the ham <laughs> i was like i was yeah. pissed <laughs> I was pissed, but you know, we divided our responsibilities and I was on ham duty. Yeah. And so I went back to Honey Baked Ham with a chair yeah. and headphones <laughs> and got there and sat for one minute. And I was like, fuck this. And you I did, went and found a ham and made a goddamn ham. Yeah. You did Black Friday for a ham. Uh, it was crazy. Yeah. I forgot that that was even a part of the whole system. I, I will never forget Hamgate. Hamgate. <laughs> no. I mean, where's the local news out there interviewing everyone in line for the ham? And where are the pop up? Mm, ham stores because yeah. like i understand you can really honey capitalize. baked ham might not be a year-round thing mm-hmm. but like where's the rival just yeah thanksgiving and christmas ham stores that's where the money is i mean this is an undiscovered territory you- the money was in hams and supermarket <laughs> suite yeah i know if anyone would like to invest in grace and i's Ugh. new business venture hamming it up the yes. friendship ham pop-up yeah, like let us know <laughs> ham doesn't get enough respect for it being such a like foundation of holiday food do you think it's because like the name ham means like joking around so people are like oh we're not going to take that seriously oh maybe but i guess turkey is also a term for an idiot yeah or chicken you're scared you're scared <laughs> oh get out of here you turkeys yeah oh man a whole undiscovered we just aged ourselves we really did (laughs) oh my god oh i will say i did love that the day after thanksgiving Mm. another wonderfully wildly hungover day everyone watched dancing with the birds i was so excited (laughs) the morning after thanksgiving was bloody mary's and dancing with the birds oh i loved it i walked into the living room and it was just a beautiful scene it's your favorite thing oh yeah it was was great great. those birds still gay (laughs) yeah oh very i mean and also i know we owe a dance video to our patreon i mean we have for months so we will get this done but the i will never live up to how well that they can dance it's Should we try to mimic the bird dances? The last one to the Space nine part? Jam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one that's like, I was dancing when I was 12. And he just shakes his feathers real wide. Yeah. We just have picture in picture just so you can see which bird we're trying to shot mimic. Shot for shot. That's crazy. I <sighs> love dancing with the birds. You know what I never understood? I never understood a lot of things, but one of them was that how in Christmas movies, when a kid got socks, they were disappointed. If I got socks right now, I would be elated. Okay, having matching socks, comfortable socks, quality socks as an adult is a rarity, but not if you know the brand Bombas. Okay, Bombas are soft. And not just like pretty soft, more like made with the softest cotton in the world socks. They're built with extra cushioning, so no matter whether you're walking the dog or chilling at home or playing drums or clogging, which might be specific North Carolina, at the end of the day, you're comfortable. They provide the support in places that you didn't even know you needed it, like in your arches. Each sock is built with a special arch support system that supports Supportive, which is redundant, but not too tight. It's like a nice hug, but not like a hug that has lingered for too long and, you know, you might need to report it to someone. I'm telling you, socks are the way to gift give. If you have a friend who isn't very stoked on a high quality, possibly even merino wool sock, then congrats, you live in Barbados and you are hanging out with a stoner who Matthew McConaughey based character off of. That's not reality. Everyone freaking loves socks. And that's why we're giving you a deal. So all you need to do is go to Bombas, B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash T-M-G-W and you get 20% off any purchase during their big holiday sale, November 18th, which was a while ago, through December 5th. So hurry up, hurry up. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash T-M-G-W for 20% off Bombas dot com slash T-M-G-W. Go do it, you guys. And quit hanging out with that guy who doesn't wear socks. 
The term getting in shape kind of sucks because it implies that I don't have a shape. Oh, I have a shape, all right. It's just not the exact shape that I'd like. Maybe I'd like to lose a little weight. So I will turn to an app called Noom because in their eyes, getting in shape, if you will, isn't about just losing weight. It's about learning healthier habits and feeling better about myself and more in tune with my body and my needs and also self-care, all right? Because at the day, y'all, I'm not gonna stop drinking. I'm not gonna not eat what I like. That's bullshit. There's no food that is good or bad or off limits. Noom teaches moderation and can be used in conjunction with other pre-existing popular diets. If you're into that keto shit, if you're into that uh, other thing I haven't even heard of, don't worry. You can figure out how to incorporate this app into other things you're already doing. I'm telling you, you're human. You're gonna go off track. There's no shame in that jam. This is just a way to get some tips and some insight and a cool way you know, to have a little support system online. And if you think this might work for you, then boy, here we go. I've got a deal. Noom.com slash weird. That's right. N-O-O-M dot com slash W-E-I-R-D to sign up for your trial today. Noom.com slash weird. I mean, we're all ending out the year. We all have those high hopes, those 2020 to-do lists that are just scrolls. So why not give it a shot? Let's see if we like it. What else we watched after you guys left? Because mm. you guys left midday on Friday. Yeah. We continued to get rip shit drunk. Yeah. Um, and watched, binged an entire teen tournament on Jeopardy. <gasps> that sounds fun. It was the best. Because also, with Teen Jeopardy, you feel smart. Right. Teen Jeopardy, I'm like, kind that's of. the <laughs> peak of what I actually might know some answers for. Totally. <laughs> and because it's really fun to see these hyper intelligent nerds yeah really flub the pop culture questions oh. like every time there was a question that was lightly about a girl <laughs> like everyone in the audience laughed oh no and they'd be like well, i don't i don't know what is a brazier <laughs> like, <laughs> like truly it was just like sweet nerds oh. and it was you know we watched it go from let's say 12 to down to three to one and so you got invested in them oh yeah so you knew you were like we know yeah elsie doesn't know shit about <laughs> american history <laughs> yeah. or whatever it was it was the best oh that sounds like the perfect uh entertainment for yeah. being hung over day three of thanksgiving festivities but also <laughs> wanting to feel like your brain still works right to be like i'm gonna participate i'm gonna yell at this screen and sometimes it's gonna be right and sometimes mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. do you ever get invested in the um national spelling bee it gives me anxiety because i know that they put so much pressure on themselves yeah like, this is their time to shine this is what they've prepped for their you know whole lives to the nine years old that and they what are their right parents now. have right. dedicated their lives to it's crazy i've seen stuff where it's like oh we have whole towns in india praying for you right no that i mean that's why i can't get invested in it because i root for them but i also mm. want them to know this isn't the end of the world <laughs> totally one word right and how pissed would you be you would hate that word for the rest of your life oh it would haunt you every I night that you fell asleep i still know that I lost the seventh grade spelling bee to chandelier. Oh, and I, I still hate that every time. I mean, the when Sia had the number one hit, it was a dark time for me. <laughs> it was triggering. It was so <laughs> triggering and not because it's about alcoholism. I lost the fourth grade spelling bee on predicate, which oh I my still God. don't even know how to spell. I refuse wow. to learn how to spell it. Wow. Yeah. Predicate chandelier is our punk band. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm I also, so mad about it. I feel like there is opportunity in the national spelling bee for more comic relief to lighten the mood. They make it very very intense and i agree so, like you know the puppy bowl i feel like they need more elements of this event happening true because the thing is is that the judges on it you don't have to be a good speller mm -mm. to be one of the judges on the spelling bee all you have to say is the word like and then all the like origin and use it in a sentence is mm -hmm. already spelled out yeah we need to host the spelling bee 
Okay. How let's, fun would that be? Let's manifest that. That's let's now into the universe. Look, I've already got email. I've already got communications <laughs> going for us to be judges on the world's ugliest dog contest oh, next year. Please. So let's put it out into the universe. Yeah. I feel and like on social media, let us be guest judges on the spelling bee. Tis the season. I just saw today that Dave and Buster's Hollywood slid into my DMs. Stop it. What did they? Oh they my said, God. This is huge. They said, <laughs> look, I don't, I didn't want to come out hot with this oh immediately. My God. They said that they heard me talking <laughs> about it on Not Too Deep and next time that we're at the uh the place in hollywood uh feel free to hit us up when you're here we'd love to take care of you so we gotta go okay let's go immediately yeah um also take care of you just sounds intimate yeah there's something a little flirty about it from yeah. uh he wants to bust a something well <laughs> dave and buster <laughs> yeah. wow um yeah so that was a big wonderful thing that happened this only morning. the top brands yeah really very cool very cool um so we'll see and i also don't i feel like weird even initiating the reach out to them being like hey i'm coming by tonight <laughs> who do i yeah well first of all <laughs> how on their social are they because you might want to give it like a two day in advance yeah they have like a thousand <laughs> followers because it's the dnb hollywood oh, underscore specific. ca yeah uh, so it's the oh hollywood. that's tough to find yeah so i i don't know but um dnb hollywood underscore ca know that if i do mm -hmm. swing by i will let you take care of me that i love that so scummy <laughs> i'll let you take care of me give me all the coins for my slot oh my um, god i had a wrong number text <gasps> on thanksgiving on thing oh yeah you were saying you were telling everyone i caught you whispering to people and okay. then you were like i'm not excluding you i'm just saving this story for the podcast so i thought I you would appreciate that because <laughs> no i did i was like does she know that i can hear her whispering i was whis about i was whispering to two people on the couch <laughs> here comes grace i didn't want her to hear but i didn't want her to think especially now knowing like there might have been a little social anxiety that i want to be like um, i'm not talking about you yeah, yeah no i heard you whisper to someone the first time about being like i'm just whispering this because i want to tell grace on the pie. I was ship, <laughs> and i wanted to be like i can leave the room i appreciate how much you're doing to keep this a secret but well, yeah let me hear this story on okay on thanksgiving i got a text that said with no punctuation okay that said happy thanksgiving sorry we can't make it deb wanted to go to her parents house last minute if i wasn't broke i'd get a divorce lmao <laughs> anyway smoke one for me <laughs> Oh my god right if i wasn't broke i'd, I'd get, get a, a divorce. divorce smoke one for me <gasps> wow so i said lol i'm sure y'all had a great time at deb's folks let me know if you want me to venmo you for divorce funds and then sent a gif of wiz khalifa smoking two joints <laughs> <laughs> keep it light yeah <laughs> and then he said uh oh we had to leave early deb and her sister had a little too much to drink and they argued about pumpkin pie we bought her sister Oh, we bought. Her sister tried to say she made it, and they got an argument. And next thing you know, her sister grabbed the pie and threw it. Half landed on Deb, half on the floor. And if you ask me, the anger management classes didn't help her sister. Hope y'all had a better day than us. That sounds like someone's so then playing with you. I said, yep, officially a prank text. Bye. <laughs> and they said, yeah, I realized after the first text that it was the wrong number. Lol, sorry. I might have taken it too far. Have a good night. Sorry for bothering you. Wow. So the first text was real. And then when I like, and then, oh. and then when he realized that like, you oh shit, playing. that was the wrong number <gasps> and I'm pranking them, mm -hmm. then they decided to prank me. And then I was like, peace out. I'm bye. Homie, don't play that. And then <laughs> too many layers of prank. And then, yeah. But I was really confused when I first got that text because I normally go to my aunt Debbie's oh. for Thanksgiving. And then I got something about like, sorry, we're at Deb's. Was it a North Carolina number? Hmm. Was it an LA number? Let me see area code because those that's are the, always what i do yeah i never trust i think it was texas oh <laughs> yeah it was beaumont texas okay <laughs> so uh i mean yeah it's uh you want to play with them but when they play back then you're like stop it and also sometimes i'm like oh no is it someone who just found my number and is yeah. pranking me but they didn't try to keep engaging right right right. like right. it wasn't like how are you send a pick <laughs> you know what i mean like <laughs> yeah, yeah it was just kind of like oh you're right uh it, it was a wrong number and i knew you were playing along Ugh. um i overheard something mm -hmm. in in um palm springs though that made me laugh so fucking hard what so I went to Walgreens. Yes. Uh, Chip was out. He went to the DMV. 
you know good for I, him that it's the new thing to do is go to the dmv any adult thing you need to do do it else. in palm springs in palm springs but so he was at the dmv and i was like i'm just gonna go ahead and walk to walgreens because i need like shampoo and i want to yeah. shower and like do my thing so i walk up to walgreens hanging out um check out he texts me and he's like oh i'm done i'll just swing by and grab you so i'm waiting outside and this man and woman walk by and the woman is like you know, she's been tanning for 50 years. Yeah. And she's like a little gruff. She's got on like gray <laughs> hair, long ponytail. Um, she's got on gray hair. She's got on gray hair. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's one of those baseball hats with a ponytail attached. Yeah, she's got a Gandalf wig going. Oh my God. <laughs> she's got gray hair. She's very weathered. She's yeah. got like a low hat, like a, she's just kind of like grouching all over the place, right? <laughs> she walks by, um, oh, and she was wearing a Baja shirt, you know, those from the 90s. What are those? It's like the like woven kind of shirts that like you would see like hippies wear. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? If you look at it, you'll know what I'm talking about. It looks like a rug that's been fashioned yes. into. Yes, so it's sh- like a yeah, it, it's a uh, like a poncho almost. That- Exa- like a thick yeah, thick woven poncho. Yeah, it's something like called you- them Baja shirts. I don't know why. Uh, I never knew that that's what they're called. It's basically what you can imagine Steve Zaragoza wears. Yes. <laughs> and also, I think you went through a Baja shirt phase during Hey USA. Probably, like we got yeah. one at a gas station and you rocked the shit out yeah, of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but so anyway, she walks by and she's like really intense and she's mm-hmm. holding a case of Coors Light. She, this is a beautiful, she's it's, the mayor of Palm Springs. It's 11 a.m. <laughs> Baja shirt, case of Coors Light. They have like a bag of chips and a case of Coors Light. She walks by and she says to her friend, the past 10 years, everything has gone to shit. And I was like, uh, here we go. Here we go. I'm interested. <laughs> and then she goes, and it was 10 years ago that Michael Jackson died. I know it sounds crazy, but I have a theory. <laughs> and then they got in their car and I was like, oh my God, no. all I want to do is get in the back seat of this car, crack open a course light and, and hear what your theory is on why the world has gone to shit post Michael Jackson's death. Oh, wow. Uh, Isn't that a great overheard? It's such a specific and could go in so many directions. I know it sounds crazy. I have a theory. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's like, tell me more, Marge. Have you and your friend not talked for 10 years either? And this is your first time. Like what prompted this in Walgreens? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Really? What went down there <sighs> so badly that made you tell your theory on <sighs> MJ? I loved it so I much. Know. Let's not fucking kid ourselves. Traveling during the holidays is a damn nightmare. I mean, you can't control if your flight is going to be delayed. You can't control if your car to the airport is going to be late or if your family doesn't even bother to show up. But what you can control is how you pack and what luggage you use. And that's why I'm talking to you guys today about Away. Whoever said life is about a journey has never traveled during the holidays. Well, luckily with Away suitcases, you can have a unique travel style and it comes in polycarbonate, aluminum, durable nylon, lots of colors, two carry-on sizes because the worst thing is when you're waiting to pick up your luggage after a long flight and you just see bag after bag that looks exactly alike. Away has some really adorable styles that are designed to last a lifetime with durable exteriors that can withstand even the strongest of baggage handlers, okay? That baggage handler comes in, he just got dumped, he's throwing suitcases left and right. Well, don't even worry about it because yours is gonna withstand the test of time. There are four 360 spinner wheels guaranteed for the smoothest roll. You don't wanna be just hauling it behind you all jankily. This is gonna be a smooth ride, you know what I'm saying? Coolest part in my opinion, there's a 100 day trial on everything Away makes. So you take the product out on the road, you live with it, you travel with it, you get lost with it for 100 days, and if you decide that it's not for you, or it's not perfect in any way that suits your needs, you just ship it back. You get a full refund. No ifs, ands, buts, or periods, except your period, which I don't, you know, that's none of my business. But what is my business is giving you a deal. So special offer for the This Might Get Weird listeners. For $20 off of any suitcase or bag, visit awaytravel.com slash TMGW and use the promo code TMGW during checkout. Again, that is $20 off any suitcase or any bag. Go to awaytravel.com slash TMGW and use the promo code TMGW. 
guys get away with it, you know? Um, I overheard something yesterday because my car got towed yesterday. Shut the fuck up. What happened? Tell I, me everything. So I... Uh, oh, that's so annoying. Elliot texted and was like, hey, Valley Folk is shooting some like Christmas special videos. If you're bored and want to come by the office and like hang out and like maybe be in some. And so I went, hung out with a bunch of people. It was really fun. I got to play um, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Spoiler I alert. I always thought yeah. you would make a great Jesus. I don't want to brag, but I I looked great like yeah. very good like a total like vagabond in the in you like know. i looked just like him like i'm ready to audition for jesus christ superstar oh, now my word yeah it was um really fun i was there for like two hours and then we were leaving to go um like grab a drink and some food and my car got towed in the front of their office and so it's like, like a permit only uh it's like a two-hour parking spot i think i was 10 minutes past the two-hour mark oh, but see, that's bullshit but it's also a huge like populated street so it was rush hour so it was oh, like okay. in the way and i was just like oh my heart sank i was like i don't the last time my car got towed i think was like my first year here in la i had mine towed i think a couple years ago but i also <laughs> It was like one of those perfect storms in time where you're like, I need to get my registration updated. And also I yeah. can't find my license. And like one uh -huh. of those where they were like, we can't give you well, your car back until you do these 40 steps. And then they're like, we can't renew your car until you get it out of the toe. It uh -huh. was ugh. I catch 20 Chinese finger trap of being finger fucked. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't even know what my license plate number was. No, I had, why would you? You're not. Ellie and I are going Rain back. Man? We're going back through photos on our phone to see if we have a photo. He had a photo of my car on his phone with the license wow. plate number. Thank God. Did, he did have one? Yeah. And okay, so I'm going to go do that immediately after we finish recording. Yeah, I need to take actual photos and put it in a doc. But then and uh, so we call, we find the place that it got towed to and, you know, they're, it's like six o'clock, they're closing at seven. So we're like, let's just go. And it's like way, way in the valley, like deep, deep valley. And we get there and, you know, tow places are like hospitals. It's like everything's beige. Yeah. No one wants to be there. No Everyone's one. having a really miserable time. Well, it's one of those businesses where anyone who works there is just having to be yelled at. Yeah. And this woman, God bless her, that works the front desk, like she's been screamed at all day that she has such a thick skin that she's barely paying attention to anything you're saying. Oh, totally. Uh, and it's also they're like a half hour from their closing time. So they're just trying to wrap up everything. And there's these two other kids in the lobby, um, these two boys that are probably in their like early 20s and they're having a really frustrating time. And uh, and the guy, meanwhile, that's like towing things, woman's filling out paperwork, giving me stuff to sign. He's basically like ready to let my car go, like to give to me because he like once she's like, I didn't release her car yet. Like twice he pulled oh, it up. You and can't have like, a generous tow guy. I know. I was like, you guys clearly just want your day to end. But then we're like waiting because they had to take photos of like my registration and the two boys get called up to the counter. And oh, then no. we just hear the woman says, um, your mom needs to come pick up the car because it's registered under her name. And he just goes, oh, fuck. Oh, she, no. He goes, is there any way that we don't have to do that? And she's like, no, it's registered under her name. Like, legally, we have to. And he's like, fuck her. Fuck, she's a fucking c word no there's no way she's gonna do that and then he just keeps going she's a drunk bitch and just kicked me and my boyfriend out of the house on thanksgiving sorry for my language oh <laughs> my god and elliot and i are like filling up paper just slowly raise our heads and i'm like so my situation isn't that bad no uh, this puts a little <gasps> bit into perspective and she finally did like let them have she their car did? yeah and he was talking about how his grandfather has to come and like it's up to him to like figure out if he gets to keep the car Whoa. but yeah he just goes oh fuck she's a c she's oh. a drunk bitch that just kicked me and my boyfriend out of the house on thanksgiving i'm gonna say though wow if mama kicked out her son and boyfriend on the terms of them being a couple yeah i'm team him yeah no that's F that c i wanted to be like give him his car <laughs> <laughs> you but, get a car but also i was like this could also be completely fabricated story absolutely just get this car back. he could have stolen the car right that's because she like, had too much wine and she's every time mom i know and then they wanted to fight that their car I guess got towed from a place that didn't have any signs like warning. And mm -hmm. so he came back in afterwards, like 10 minutes later and was like, can I get information for the other car that got towed to like make a better claim for, um, not 
paying the fine for yeah. it because there was no visible signage and the woman's like i can't do that she's like also in a spot like that usually 20 cars get towed so right, you're totally. not alone and also uh, she's like oh, clearly man. i just gave you your car back and i wasn't allowed to do that i can't give yeah, you just random, don't break it dude <laughs> random customer information um yeah they must just get yelled at all day and also i'm thinking a good majority of the time like they're just dealing with people who are hungover as fuck oh, and totally. getting there late in the day. Totally. You know, you have like the morning crew who's like, I got towed from, um, you know, I, I was on right. my way to work and realized I got towed. Right. But then you have the people who are like, I was on my way out of this one night stand. Right, right, right. And it's 3 p.m. And now I'm here. Exactly. Hired as hell. Exactly. And it's also like. It's such a bummer because it costs like three hundred dollars to get out of towing, and then I got a parking <sighs> ticket for one hundred and sixty dollars on top of that. So I'm like, I'm I'm gonna oh. take a minute before I come back to the Valley Folk office to help you guys with anything. Four hundred sixty <laughs> bucks in one fail swoop to go play Jesus. That's what happens when you like fuck with the Lord. Truly, <laughs> I felt like, oh, this is my immediate karma for playing a beautiful Jesus Christ. <laughs> for a beautiful, beautiful. Oh, speaking uh, of beautiful Jesus Christ. Yes. Literally. Um, last night, I could not sleep. Me L- either. I didn't go to sleep till like three in the morning. I had anxiety dreams. Oh, fun. Uh, oh okay. Mm-hmm. I had anxiety dreams the whole night. Yeah. The things I remember most is that I was terribly upset Ooh. because someone stole Um, out of a storage shed (laughs) i don't have a shed (laughs) someone stole my charlotte flair raw women's championship belt that chip gave me in paris wow and i was like people were like you can replace it and in my dream i was like but you don't understand like sentimental value i was gifted this in paris before we went to raw in paris (laughs) like i kept just saying paris a million times it's like Um, a bad rom-com but that happened and then i had to go bartend at my old job in new york city Ooh, so i had a full down i had a full shift wow yeah those are the worst where i'm just like i normally it's i can't get people their drinks yeah. this was compounded on i can't get people their drinks and the menu doesn't have the ingredients for the specialty cocktails oh so no, i'm just no. like guess at one point i just muddled mint and and i was like i'm muddling mint what else is in the drink and the other bartender went ipa i went so i just bore i just pour beer on this mint like <laughs> this I had so many specifics. I hate going back to work, uh, yeah. waitressing or bartender shift dream. Ugh, yeah. What was your anxiety? Or you just had anxiety? I just, I couldn't fall asleep. But the funny thing was last week, mm-hmm. I took a couple nights off of drinking and I've never had a dream like this. I had a dream where I got shit faced and I could like oh, feel yeah. that I was wasted in my dream. And I Whoa. woke up and I was like, that was the most bizarre feeling of all time. Like it being was, drunk in your dream. I, it was a stress room about me being like in a house, almost like bachelor style with a bunch of other women. Mm. And I was shit faced and I like couldn't stand up and I was falling over and I was embarrassed and I was like ashamed and I couldn't remember the girls names and stuff like that. Just all on top wow. of each other. And I woke up being like, I'm stone cold sober, but that felt so insanely real. It, Ugh, Stone so. Cold Sober. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steve Austin's uh, first draft. Yeah. And then he was like, this isn't good. I got to chug beers in the ring. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's his Sober January, Stone Cold Sober. Oh, God, I'm yeah. already dreading Sober January. Am I going <laughs> to... You're doing it to Am help I yourself. about to like go into the holidays and an amazing trip with just dread in my body? <laughs> um, I did have a dream the other night. Sorry. Dream podcast. Yeah. But analyze this, y'all. It left me genuinely upset. Uh-oh. I hate these kinds of dreams. I had a dream that, um, well, you know, I love the couple Wells, Adam and Sarah Highland. Yes, yes. Follow them on Insta. I think they're adorable. Mm -hmm. Wells was always my favorite during the franchise. Yes. And I love the fact that she was a fan and then they got together. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I had a dream that she cheated on him (gasps) with Pete Davidson. And I woke up (laughs) mad. I woke up. I was like, I am so disappointed in her. You're emotionally invested in some strangers. I was like, another one bites the dust to Pete Davidson. And I was like, in my dream, I was just like, I can't believe you. (laughs) This is the first time we're talking and I'm severely disappointed severely <laughs> what about your sh- your greyhounds or no, no your your hound dogs you and wells have a f- you guys have you a real thing engaged. and you went for a flavor of the goddamn month oh wow so i'm yeah. glad that didn't actually well, there's, there's some stuff for <laughs> the audience to unpack there truly <laughs> yes tweet at sarah and let her know i'm happy she's not dating pete davidson um i saw 
now that we're a Star Wars podcast. Yes. Uh oh. Are you talking about Laura Dern's interview? No. Oh, okay. I have a. What little... is what is this? I just saw it pop up on Twitter that someone asked Laura Dern like on a carpet. Uh, about baby yoda and she said oh god Laura in the Dern. interview what'd you say i think i saw him at a basketball game and the interviewer <laughs> pauses the interviewer pauses for like 10 solid seconds and he goes oh what? she goes it was the nba <laughs> so, i think laura dern thinks baby yoda is a rapper <laughs> It's, I just was watching it. Here, really quick. Just listen to this. Oh, yes, I did. What do you think about this? Today. <laughs> I saw... I don't know if it's a him or a she. I don't know, but I think he was at a basketball game. <laughs> My, she thinks Baby Yoda is totally a rapper that starts with baby. <laughs> yeah. I am dead for that and she just goes that's all i'm gonna say and then he doesn't know how to respond and then she goes it was the nba and then leaves <laughs> i'm obsessed with laura dern oh that yeah. is amazing yeah that's my update on star wars well i mean all i've been doing is calling beans baby yoda for a week yeah. to the point where chip was like that's not her name and i was like <laughs> it is for right now until uh. i'm sick of it but i've just been going nuts i still haven't watched the show but i've just been going off on some baby yoda stuff yeah love him so much oh, he, the cutest. all that matters who knew that this is what we needed at the end of 2019 truly baby yoda is the altoid <laughs> after <laughs> quite the year yeah um but i saw a new star wars announcement for disney plus this morning what's that I didn't see it. Jar Jar Banks. Oh no. <laughs> is going to be hosting a game show. <laughs> now the game show <laughs> it is not allowed. That's what? <laughs> the, okay. Jar Jar Banks. <laughs> I'm a, I think it's like a the cross Howie between Mandel of Star Wars characters. <laughs> the least likable, oh. I'd say, voted by everyone. Yeah. I mean, people like the bad guys more than Jar Jar. Yeah, absolutely. That's the reason I have uh, incorporated Gungans into my vocabulary because that's like... That's what he would say. He's like a Gunga or something is oh, his like type of creature. But you know that actor, I'm sorry, I don't know your name if this is offensive and you're a listener. Uh, <laughs> Jar Jar <laughs> is like holy shit i'm coming back i'm being brought back. i was the most hated thing in pop culture for like a solid year um wow but anyway i think it's kind of a mix of guts slash legend of the hidden temple because it says that it's for teens okay so it says it and i'm assuming like younger teens because if you're 19 going on this shit like yeah. You're a junior in college. This is for Disney Plus, so it's going to be a like a live action Jar Jar Binks. It says it will test teens on Jedi and the Jedi principles of strength, knowledge, and bravery. And I think it will have different lands like that wow. mimic the lands of Star Wars. Wow. I mean, so like you have to like, it's basically teens trying to become a Jedi. Okay. But why the Jar Jar? Right. I that's, can see. Jar that's where I'm a Jar. I can see <laughs> Jar Jar as like the Mo, like Guts yes. Mo, like a the correspondent. Sidekick. Yeah. I'd be like, well, that was really fast okay off of you jar jar yeah i'm like give it to c-3po like that feels more of a host character to me a c-3po or just like uh, an up-and-coming actor or a comedian who's right. funny who can put on a fucking jedi suit who loves star wars exactly yeah, yeah like how many comedians are nerds almost all of oh, them we both <laughs> raise our hands so it's like i just don't understand why jar jar is i mean wow. maybe he just has to keep his sag insurance <laughs> I'm, to be honest, though, very curious to watch an episode of it. I know. Well, you love Guts and Legends of the Hidden Temple so much. I love much. all that stuff. So, wow. I know. I think it's kind of crazy, but I'm it is excited. what it is. Well, this yeah. has been, I mean, anything else? I mean, I have other stuff, but we, we've we got we some got podcasts some coming up. Uh, you guys, just to keep you informed, because it's mm -hmm. it's December, there's holiday travel. Yes. Um, next week, you're going to get, or the next two weeks, you're going to get one of those, like, we do a super long podcast and then break it up into two parts. Yep. So that'll be uh, next week and the following. And then on Christmas, we are recording a Christmas Q&A yeah. um, that will go up. So you'll actually get a podcast on Christmas Day. And um, if you don't 
don't know, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash this might get weird, uh, that we put up bonus podcasts monthly and uh, and some other content and fun things. All up kinds there. of good stuff. Yeah. I've been posting like a maniac. It, get it's, in our, there. it's our Tumblr. Grace is putting up um, some BTS of mm-hmm. when she ran the Jurassic Park 5K. 5K. Yeah, it's real fun. So yeah, go check it out. Patreon.com slash this might get weird. And uh, I think it did. I have a theory. 